hi guys so we are back with another video um there's been like a huge gap between my first video and this video so i did post my first video like a week or two weeks ago i technically filmed that video when i was in india which was in february so that was like three months ago i think two months ago yeah so there's been like a huge gap i am back in australia and i am in my first semester of my second year of vet school and i thought that i would take you guys on a realistic week in my life in vet school it's probably gonna be like really boring just because i'm very introverted and i don't do much and i don't like go out and like you know socialize so i usually just like stay in my room but yeah like if there's anything interesting that i'm doing or anything vet school related I will definitely vlog it i'm probably gonna be like really awkward when i'm in public vlogging i get nervous and shy um but i'll get used to it um this is like my first video um vlogging hope you guys enjoy this video and uh yeah let's get started Okay, so I'm on my laptop right now and I'm just going through the instructions for an assignment that I have to submit next week. So yeah, I was just going through that on my laptop. Also, I have glasses. Um, I wear them when I'm studying. Yeah, since this is a veterinary medicine channel, I thought I'll explain uh, what I have to do for my assignment. So I have to write a literature review um on any topic uh and we have options so we have like 15 topics that we can choose from and i've chosen where is it where is it recent advances in the nutritional management of chronic renal failure in cats so that's the topic that i've chosen basically we need to like find research articles journal articles for creating this literature review and we basically need to like scientifically talk about our topic and use scientific journal articles to do so um so i'm just working on that because that's due next week and i just finished my mid-semester exam so we had the theory exam for neurophysiology and neuroanatomy which went well and then we had the prac exam for neuroanatomy and neurophysiology which it was okay it wasn't that good and right after my easter break i had parasitology and virology exam and we had toxicology in plants and pastures so basically we need to learn about plants as well um not a lot of people talk about this but in vet school you need to learn about plants because like cows and horses they eat plants and we need to know the nutritional value of those plants and which plants are toxic and which ones are good for them which plants are in deficit in certain nutrients like certain minerals and yeah so we had an exam on that and now just this assignment is left and then i have my final exams in june so yeah that's like the whole structure of my semester okay so before i get started with this assignment i wanted to share something that's been bothering me so i used to live um, in Gatton, which is like rural Australia, like on the outskirts of the city, um, because that's where my campus is. And I really didn't like it there because there's nothing to do there. There's no Indian food. There's like, there's literally no social life. There's nothing. And I, I don't know why that's important to me because I don't even go out and socialize, but I do enjoy like going out alone and doing things alone, like going to like cafes or the mall alone which I know is really weird, but I like doing things alone. Uh, so I didn't have anything to do there and I just didn't like it. So I moved to the city this year and now I live in Brisbane. And I was like, oh, like as a companion, I'll probably like get a fish because like I'm obsessed with the Siamese fighting fish, also known as betta fish or beta fish. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'll just get like one of those fish and I'll um, have like a cute little like tank set up for him and you know I'll name him Frank uh, I thought through like everything and then I move here 
and I didn't think this part through because I was like, why would any accommodation place have an issue with one fish, right? And I moved here and turns out that you're not allowed to keep pets. Um, so I emailed my accommodation place and I was like, can I keep one fish? And they're like, no. And I was like, why? And they're like, oh, it's gonna disturb the residents and like your neighbors. Like, how is it gonna disturb my neighbors? Like, what is it gonna do? Gargle and then like spit water on them? Like, oh. like what is one fish gonna do? So now I can't even get Frank and I'm lonely in my room. Yeah, that's all. That, that was my rant. Now I should probably get back to finishing my assignment. So I have some pretty exciting news. Um, I'm going for Jay Shetty's show. Um, I'm leaving in literally 10 minutes. I was really, really excited that he's doing a tour in Australia and I've read his book. It is a book tour um, and I just finished reading his book. So I really want to go and see what he has to say. And I've heard really, really good things about the show. I bought the ticket like two or three months ago. I'll try like vlogging a few clips or just like showing you what it's like. Yeah, wait, let me show you what I'm wearing. Okay, so I am wearing this black top. It's got these ties on the side. Um, and then these bootcut jeans with my Adidas sneakers. And I'm definitely gonna carry a jacket because it's really cold. Um, it's winter right now in Australia, so it's pretty cold. But yeah. Okay, now I am fully ready. I'm just wearing a guess. It's kind of like a raincoat material, but yeah, now I am fully ready to go. And it's called You or Me. There we go. Welcome to You or Me. I'm your host, Jay Shetty, and I'm looking for a couple of couples to play our games tonight. If you're a couple that's been together, guys so i am currently walking from the bus stop to my campus um the uq red school is actually an hour away from the main campus in the city so i took a bus here because i have a respiratory physiology practical so yeah, i'm just walking there right now uh it's currently i think one o'clock um it's a really pretty day as you can see so i'm currently on campus i'm just waiting for my practical it starts in 30 minutes uh, so i'm just gonna probably work on my assignment for a bit also this is my campus i'm on my laptop right now it's very very green and that's the library back there Yeah, super pretty. Okay, relax, breathe. So I just finished my assignment um, that I was talking about earlier that I was working on, and I'm just so drained. I'm so tired, and like, I just want to talk about how vet school is not easy, and like. I know that like I'm starting a YouTube channel on vet school and I've seen like so many people on YouTube vet students who really almost glamorize vet school and don't always paint a realistic image of what vet school is like. I mean it might really be like that for them it's not like that for me and i know it's not like that for a lot of people who are in my cohort i know a lot of people who struggle with vet school i struggle with vet school and i just want to paint like a realistic image of what vet school is like um it does have its good parts and 
there are moments that i really enjoy what i'm doing but then there are also moments that i don't and i don't want to hide that and not document that part because i want people who are getting into this profession and applying to vet school to have a realistic viewpoint of what vet school is like what the profession is like i feel like one of the main downfalls of this profession is that people don't have a realistic outlook on it when they get into it and then they are really really disappointed or they experience compassion fatigue or imposter syndrome or they burn out really fast or they get depressed really quickly i'm hoping that me painting a realistic image of vet school will um better prepare younger generations who are interested in this profession i've been working on this paper for quite a few days now and it currently what's the time it's 9:15 and i've been working on it since i woke up in the morning i'm so tired like i had really really big plans today that i would finish this paper by the afternoon and then i would catch up on some of my respiratory um physiology lectures that i haven't done yet but i literally had no time i was just doing this assignment the whole day and now i'm just overwhelmed with the amount of work that i have to do later on yeah i'm stressed but it's okay i'll I'll get through it. Oh, I also want to show you like the most satisfying part after completing an assignment. Wait. So this is the most satisfying part about completing an assignment. Just getting rid of all those tabs open for so many days. Hi guys, so I am going to the pet store and the grocery store right now. I thought I'll just vlog a few clips when I'm at the pet store so you guys get to see some cute fish and maybe some birds. So the reason I'm going to the pet store is I want to get some new toys and some new perches for my bird back home in India. So I actually like recently got a new cage for him and it's really big. It's like from the floor till like it's like taller than me and I'm 5'4 five, 5'4 four, five, four, five, five. um so it's taller than me and it's got a little outdoor play area and it's got a lot of empty space inside so I want to fill it up with few new toys and perches and just make it more exciting and just provide him with more enrichment so yeah let's go to the pet store so this is what I'm wearing, just super comfy and cozy. Hello, so I'm back from the pet store. Um, I thought I'd show you like what I got over there. So like a mini haul. The first thing I got is this ladder. I thought it was really cute. Um, yeah, it's got the little hooks to hang. So I got this. Yeah, so I got this natural wooden perch. It provides like different textures so that he doesn't get bumble foot or blisters on his foot. Um, yeah. Then I got this um, perch which naturally trims nails. Um, so you know when they sit on it and like their nail files against it, it like trims their nails. So yeah, this. 
I got this foraging toy so you can put like little food or toys in there and you can forage. This little toy, it's got these funny little textured things. And then I got this little toy. I thought it was really cute and my bird really loves to play with the rope. So he's gonna definitely pull these out. Finally, I got two toys for my dogs back home. I got this little teddy and this little seahorse. Yeah. So that was the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end the video here and uh, if you enjoy my videos and if you want to see more of what my life is like as a vet student, an international vet student, then please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down below if you have any questions about vet school or life as an international student. And yeah, follow me on my Instagram. Thank you. Bye.